are we talking about? How fucking shitty the a position the world is in, perhaps? That's an idea. Oh, we can discuss how this thing is a perma kitten. Yeah, it's an adorable kitten. I love it. I love you, Rita. <laughs> And this kitten is two years old now, and she's still a kitten. The look on her face, oh my god. <laughs> well, if we're doing this, I might as well get the puppy. Come here, Atsy. Come here, Atsy. Yeah, come here. Look, doggy, doggy. <laughs> she's literally telling me she hates me right now. For the audience, just in case you wonder what the fuck we're doing here, we are in fact experimenting with recording t video from two sources on other sides of the fucking world, it, so we can actually make, you know, decent videos for y'all. Videos. Yeah. And we're actually using as our example an uncooperative cat. I don't think. Two we'll get a more cooperative cats. animal later. Because oh this one just accidentally happened to be in my lap, but she doesn't like to be public, so... Oh, yes. No, you gotta, you gotta we'll actually get better show yourself. Specimens later. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, there you are. I hope you're recording this one. Yep, we are. Oh, there she goes. And LT is hiding behind the microphone. She's like, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Oh, but yes. But yeah. Well, next time we'll, we'll get you something that's basically a big fluffy yeti. Yeah. An LT who doesn't want to run away because she's too tired. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, this has been a pretty decent setup so far. Gonna have some fun editing oh, this. I hope so. I'm gonna have fun editing this because I'm gonna have to put the both of us side by side in little, like, portrait shaped windows. And of course, I'm talking about editing while we're recording, so, you know. Goodbye, fourth wall. Ugh. You smoke, and I can't because I can't smoke indoors here. I like having my own apartment. I can saturate the walls with as much nicotine as I like. <laughs> Fun fact about Europe. As much as it stinks, the moment you buy an apartment, you're no longer a renter. You're the owner of the box in the sky, and then they can't touch you as much as they can't in your own backyard with land. Oh, that is a decent reason to be looking into real estate in a, or re renter's estate in Europe, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You just have to buy the apartment from the administration and... And of course, I mean, they can complain to you for keeping a dirty hallway on your part. That's your part of the hallway. But the moment they touch your door, that's where you get the shotgun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the only downside is, you know, the European Union. <laughs> but that's not going to last, is it? Oh, no, no. Especially with China on its way towards complete financial collapse covered up by book cooking that is only, you know, rivaled by Germany right now. Oh, the way I see it, I'm actually looking forward to both a German and a Chinese-style pizza. That stuff actually does taste good on a... Sorry, Italians, you've only invented a heated-up bread sandwich. Oh... Yeah. They're gonna, Italians are gonna hate me right now, aren't they? Oh, let them hate you. We're having fun. Fuck them. And, yeah, mm -hmm. but, I mean, seriously, uh, China's so been... I love you. Italians, I love you very much. I love your women, especially. I love your Milanese women. You love their women They're long so and hard. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I love them long and hard, and they make me homemade of Yoli with parma ham in the morning and butter sauce on top of it. Are you sure I... But your pizza is... But your pizza is still just heated sandwiches. Sorry. Are you sure you want me to make a video out of this? I do. I don't give a shit. Since just when did checking. I have ethics? I'm just checking. No, I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm just... The audience oh, is going to be in for a shock. Quote, quote me with this one. Since when did I have ethics? Yeah, well... You're not the one in this group that has ethics. Between the two of us, I'm the ethical party, strangely enough. Uh, 
I'm Russian. <laughs> it's been fascinating across the world, though, because, I mean, like, Germany has to cook its books because they are literally destabilizing, the Euro destabilizing Europe with their trade surpluses. China's been doing that for decades now because, well, they have no qualms about manipulating other people's economies. And they have nothing to support their manipulating with, let's face it. Yeah, at this point, no. They're, they entirely live off of the debt they own from America, which they're going to start pulling in. And something I was thinking about today, there's absolutely nothing stopping the United States from saying, you know what? We're not paying you back. You've given mm -hmm. us absolutely no reason to. You have had nothing but unfair and even... Uh, uh, predatory trade practices, not only with the United States, but with the and rest of the TPP. Go ahead. And good luck trying to pursue international debt court. Yeah, no good shit. Luck. Oh no, they would, they would not get a day into court with that because, well, the entire issue of the TPP being used to support slavery in countries that China controls at this point would, you know, be the end of that discussion right off. Oh my god, I love your shirt. I just realized the shirt you're wearing. Got it from a fan, and I like it very much because it has a nice cut to it. It's a great And cut. screw it. The actual internet show that you can find on YouTube is actually funny, the first three seasons of it. After they go commercial, it stinks, and the computer-generated stuff stinks, but the originally animated first three seasons, they're pretty, they're pretty funny satire. So I got no qualms. You hear that, Monster qualms High? Sponsor us. <laughs> uh, I've even gotten one doll from that series. Because there's a, uh, oh, there's a Yeti there that speaks with a Russian accent. Of course. Himalayas are not in Russia, but whatever. <laughs> you think people know? You think people know where the Himalayas are? I think most people think the Himalayas are north of Italy. <laughs> I mean, I saw K two in the last Tomb Raider game, so yeah. And that was in the middle of Russia, apparently, to them. And I know how K two looks. Okay, I know. Been there, saw that. It's not in Russia. It's not in Siberia. Sorry. No, no, no. Much further south. <laughs> uh, but with regards to China, I mean, that situation really is fucked. Because on the one hand, they're basically putting all the blame for any uh, sanction-breaking tra uh, trade issues on Russia, saying, oh, Russia's doing it. When in fact, Russia actually had a valid reason for finishing off any trade agreements they had with North Korea at the time, right? Whereas China, I mean, and they haven't done it since the beginning of the year when the trade agreements ended. Whereas China, China has not given up. They are still trading oil and weapons resources to North Korea. And uh, I mean, how is this not supporting our enemies? Uh, well, my enemies in the very least as an American patriot. Patriot in what big old air quotes. Why are you still letting Ukraine off the hook? They sold engines to North Korea for their nukes. That too. Although I can tell you there's going to be a Ukrainian coon in my audience who's going to bitch so loudly. And I, I'm just going to say right now. Ukraine search it up. is not a nation. <laughs> you got to search. Sorry. That's something that has to be searched up because, I mean, people like to deny this is a fact when it's the evidence is all out there. It's, it's, I don't Even know. Even the Cossacks couldn't tolerate Ukrainians. Yeah. <laughs> they ran away. They moved north. Mm. And they moved, actually they moved east and then places. They fucked oh, off the okay, Russia yeah. when they had enough. Yeah. <laughs> they just went literally, cool you guys. We're out. Uh, I'm going... I hate to say it, but I'm actually glad I'm going to get so many angry comments, because at least then fuckers will be commenting. <laughs> oh, man. Please send them to me! Gladly. 
I will send you the links when we I have, have them. no problems talking about Ukraine. I mean, hey, the UPA did murder my grandmother's own family. Because you know what, Ukrainians? My great, my grandmother and her entire family was Polish. And do you know where her family ran after her father got almost executed by you guys during the Volinian massacre? And her uncle, her father's brother, got sawed in half with the Teresa. Oh, yeah. They ran east. And do you know who she fell in love with and married? A red army officer and my grandpa. Ye fucking ha. Or as Americans will probably feel better and more understand, ye pikaye motherfucker. Oh, I'm just liking that at this moment we're basically confirming that we are the Russian collusion. <laughs> <laughs> Sev, Russia, possible collusion. And, uh, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, it, it's just, you know, a Russian patriot, an American patriot, and we like to piss on everything in between. Russian patriot, American patriot, we're libertarian patriots, let's face it. Yeah, pretty much. Because, I mean, like, as much as I love Trump, I'm still pretty damn critical of his current economic policy in the light of all the, uh, economic bubbles that exist in the world, for example. And I'm going to make sure that it's heard if I have to scream at the top of my lungs and get arrested on the White House lawn. <laughs> Daddy, for... fix this shit! <laughs> All I can say, Uncle Vlad, you're actually pushing for it and the elections are coming in soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, that's actually so fucking hilarious to me that six people including a CIA plant, a famous fucking actor, and uh, uh, basically the only person that exi that, they c that the uh, opposition party can even put forward were running. And all of last year, they were doing their best to build up voter support. And at the end of the year, Vladimir Putin comes along and says, uh, yeah, I'm going to run for president again. And suddenly the <laughs> polls just shift. <laughs> Three months prior election. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna run again. Oh yeah, besides, look, this is these are my three dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Putin's dogs, and it's one of those things that just shows that Putin loves dogs. It's just one of those things that shows the humanity in him, something that he would not never otherwise show. You know? Cause like there's those uh the video of him being given the dog by the Hungarians. Yeah, the I believe it was? Uh, it, no, it was Serbians, Serbians, and it was right after Kony died, yeah. his lab war, and he was given Buffy, the uh, Caucasian shepherd puppy. Yeah. oh my god, and it's he, so beautiful. He hugged him. Give him a little kiss. Oh, you, see that, like, oh, you see that oh, face of his, that face that most Americans see as, like, the <laughs> face of evil. Uh, I'll give you guys a hint. Putin isn't the face of evil. The face of evil is in the portrait right next to me um, uh, but see that to just see that face melt in love with a dog it was just so wonderful melt and he was he was actually tearing up mm -hmm. when he got that uh, uh, but we've been going for about 15 minutes I can get probably 10 minutes a good video out of this so I'm gonna call it here and I'm gonna say to everyone in the audience be prepared, because me and Red are going to be doing this more often and with a little bit more structure in the future. I just wanted to pilot this out and see what you guys think. She managed to drag me out of my depths. I'm probably not going to put much effort into anything, because let's put it this way. I'm lazy and I have work knowing, but she's posting videos. I can come on and talk and rant. That I'm fine with. I don't do the goddamn back work. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Anyway, bonsoir, my chers. Nighty night. I'm like, you know what? Smoking, unfortunately. I don't care. I mean, look at this. They release new Pokemons every year on cigarette packages here. Here, emaciated nicotine baby. I've seen also, you know what? Oh, let's see. 
faces and I've thrown other packages away, but lung cancer and whatnot. Fuck healthy living, it's boring. I smoke, I drink, I eat McDonald's and whatnot. And you know what? People complain about beach body, Eddie. I'm like, suck my fucking guts. Or what? Suck it. Beach body, whenever. And I love ramen. A lot of it. I like to eat even a whole package of pasta. I'll drink to that. And that's 500 grams. That's a whole pound there for you. With butter. Screw the olive oil. I like butter. Fuck you, body positivity.